Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug, and as many viewers of my channel will know, there was a great run-up in fitted cap sales, probably between 2020 and 22. Since then, I think that many of the vendors that got in and cashed in on that rise and bubble have uh, really had a lot of trouble selling caps lately. And to my perception, the demand for those has dropped off considerably since its peak. Now, those same vendors are now looking for ways to sell more caps. At this point, we're kind of entering the emergence of uh, what I would call kind of pinched front or pinched crown silhouettes, such as the 940A frame and golfer styles from New Era and also the Hitch and Hitch RF styles from 47 brand. And we're gonna take a look at both the New Era Golfer and a 47 brand Hitch in this video. Now my picking of those two models was on purpose because they happen to have the most similar constructions. I'm actually wearing a 47 brand Hitch right on my head right now, and this is one of the caps that I'll be taking a look at in the next few minutes. Now, both of these are basically five panel caps, but when you say five panel cap to somebody, a lot of times what emerges is uh, more of an outdoorsy kind of cap style. These still look a lot more like a standard baseball cap silhouette, but the biggest difference comes with the presentation of the front panel. You can see right up here, there's kind of this pinch that's folded over and sewn in this front panel. So normally, if you would look at any other six panel baseball cap style, you'd have a seam running right down the center here. And that is stitched together two panels. This is actually one which is just folded over and sewn together, giving it that peak to the crown. Now, when you flip to the inside of these caps, the flatness of the structure here comes from a single, mesh panel that's kind of stood up in between the sweatband and the fabric and that has some stiffness to it and it's meant to maintain kind of that flat curvature across the front of the cap. That mesh panel stops before you start the pinch front so the two don't interfere with each other but basically you're getting the structure and the silhouette of the cap from those two features. One other quick note is that the Hitch RF version which stands for relaxed fit actually skips this mesh panel. And it has definitely more of a lived in or kind of washed feel as with some of their other cleanup style caps or franchise caps. Again, when you've got six panels, you've got a center seam that runs all the way down into the sweatband. What results is a very stiff joint that's sitting right on your forehead. So that can cause a little discomfort over time. Now the front two panels in that construction get their structure from something called buckram which is basically a, a sort of linen that has plastic fibers woven into it as well. That buckram is bonded to the two fabric panels in the front, and it really gives shape to the crown. And because of the plastic fibers that are in that buckram, you can actually shape that crown to your liking. And I've made several videos on my channel of exactly how to do that to get better shaping for you out of that buckram. So naturally, when it comes to the uh, difference, when you get into a golfer or hitch style, as we're talking about here, comfort is really the bottom line. You completely avoid that seam up front that you get with fitted and that joint that can really put a lot of pressure on your forehead. Because when you get into this cap, there is a, just a very smooth contour underneath the sweatband. Everything is pretty flat and uniform and there's no real pressure points that are applied to your forehead. And for somebody like me, who's really got a long oval head shape where my head is a little bit um, longer in this dimension than it is in the width dimension. Um, a lot of times I get additional pressure from wearing a cap that has some sort of uncomfortable feature up front. Now with either the hitch or the golfer, I don't have that problem. It's really uniform. So these are comfortable right out of the box on my forehead. Now, when it comes to a head-to-head -head comparison between the New Era Golfer and the 47 Hitch, 
that I received, I would say that in reality, the silhouettes are very, very similar. The crown height is roughly the same, although the 47 might be a couple of millimeters taller, but it's very, very close. Both of these have a plastic snapback closure. The newer Golfer that I have happens to be 100% polyester, while the 47 hitch is actually 100% cotton. And a quick overhead view reveals that the visor shapes are quite similar as well. And of course, to give you a little bit more reference on how these both looked on my head, and also a comparison to the 5950, I'll put some images on screen of the photographs I took. And in these, you can see all the things that I'm talking about, the, the silhouette, the crown shape, the peak, and the flatness of the front of that cap and how it kind of stands up flat right in front especially from the side profile view. And then when you compare that to the fitted, you can see the obvious differences with the roundness of the fitted cap, the traditional six panel cap shape, how the front two panels are just so curved there. But overall, you can also see that the crown height is about the same. So if you're somebody who looks for a little bit lower silhouette, um, this is gonna be much closer to a standard 5950 crown height. Uh, as opposed to a low profile 5950 or some of the other lower silhouette caps like a 940 standard, a 920 from New Era, or the MVP or cleanup styles from 47 brand. So despite my love for fitted caps, and you can see again, there's a ton of them behind me and I've talked a lot about those over the years, I can easily recommend this style of cap because of the superior comfort you get from it. Now I say that even for those of you that, you know, figured you'll never wear a snapback or don't particularly like snapbacks. I was always very skeptical of snapbacks myself, but I would say that the uh, comfort of these caps has kind of won me over. And so I definitely consider buying this silhouette again in the future. And just from watching things right now in the cap market, I would say that there's some restlessness in the hat community. And I would say uh, there's a few more vendors that I notice are bringing these cap styles out in more volumes and more styles. And I made a video a while ago about the 940 A-frame and K-frame styles, um, most often pitched by Culture Kings. And they've got some great offers on both golfers and 940A frames as well. And I've noticed that uh, these are starting to make inroads at Lids physical stores, certain MLB and NBA teams I've seen recently at my uh, local stores here. And so it definitely seems like a cap style that's on the rise. And again, it's probably trying to fill the void of that hangover from the fitted bubble. Now, down below in the description, I've got links for ways to stretch, shape, otherwise edit and maintain the caps that you own. So check those out if you're further interested in taking care of your caps. And other than that, as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.